What's up guys? And thank you for joining us for another educational video. Today we're going to be discussing things I would do if I were a beginner again. We got four topics to touch on and I would love and appreciate if you could please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I would really, really appreciate that as a lot of effort goes into making these videos for you guys to benefit from. So if you could just do one of those little tasks for me, it would be amazing and I would appreciate it so much. Um, now let's get into the topics of the video. Things I would do if I were a beginner again. Number one is I would stop caring what other people thought of me. Now you're in the gym. I know because I've been in your shoes before. It feels like all everyone is doing is looking at you and judging you for your form or how you're doing the exercises or how you look. But it's far from the truth. And the longer I've been training, the longer I've found this out. Um, everyone is worried about what other people think of them. <laughs> to the degree that they're not even worried about what they're thinking of other people. So what I'm trying to get at is everyone is so worried about what other people are thinking about them that they're not worried. They don't have the capacity in their brain to actually think about or judge you, if that makes sense. So don't worry about what other people are thinking. They're scared just as much as you are. And to be honest, probably the bigger the person in the room, the more scared they are of what other people think of them because they've obviously been doing this for a long time could stem from a bit of an insecurity inside. Not always the case, but that's just what I'm getting at, is like everyone is worried about what other people think of them. So at the end of the day, just stop caring about it because who cares? Like seriously, everyone is in the gym to better themselves. And if you're in there, like congrats to you. You know, you've taken that step to better yourself and you'll learn more along the journey. If there's anyone judging in there, they're an absolute toss up. So you shouldn't even worrying, be worried about what they're thinking about you because they're so irrelevant to your life. Things I would do if I were a beginner again. Number two would be choosing my end goal. Now, I want you to think about a specific goal in mind, okay? Is it hypertrophy, endurance, strength? Now, let me break these down into a little bit more detail. Is it like you want a 100 kilogram bench for one? That is your ultimate goal. Or is it that... Oh, I want to look fit. I want to have toned abs. I want to be, you know, somewhat mobile and agile and I want more endurance because you're not going to do 50 reps of an exercise if your goal is a one rep max of a hundred kilogram bench, right? So first of all, you need a program that sort of suits what you're doing. You don't want to be doing random exercises that aren't going to be contributing to your final um, result that you're actually looking for. So that's the main thing is coming up with a specific goal of what you're looking for and actually set a time frame for it as well. Let's move on to the next things I would do if I were a beginner again. Number three is I would focus on nutrition over quick fix methods. Now I am so guilty of this. Um, I was training for maybe three years and I neglected nutrition for those whole three years, the first few years of me starting. And that was the biggest setback for me that I've ever had in my fitness journey. Your first year is where you make the most amount of gains as your body has such a low stimulus to any sort of weight training. So that's when you need to maximize the results. When you're starting out, you're actually much more prone to make so much more results quicker than someone who's intermediate or advanced trainer that needs to constantly recover more or add more stimulus to be able to see the same sort of results. I would always, and this probably stemmed from my own laziness, but I would always go to these quick fixes of this supplement can I remember looking up directly like what supplement will give me abs or what supplement will make my biceps bigger and I would be looking for these quick fix tablet formula something I can take to get results quick methods that I completely disregarded nutrition and it was staring at me in the face the whole time which this was the answer so if I could give any advice right now it would be to stop worrying about you know the supplement company makes a lot of money off of selling you dreams and misfortunes. I'm lucky enough to work with a company now that is science backed and proven to work. Um, but the main thing I'm trying to get across is that it's not all about supplements. Nutrition comes first. Nutrition is where you see all the results. And then after your nutrition right, training is right, and then supplements help afterwards. Okay, so if you are neglecting your nutrition and hoping that you'll get some sort of benefit out of these supplements that promise you so many things, you're getting caught up in the money scheme side of the supplement industry. So do yourself a favor, focus on nutrition and hear it from me that who wasted three years that could have been way ahead of their physique goals right now because you have the chance to because you're listening to me right now.
Now, things I would do if I were a beginner again. Number four is I would get a PT or coach right away. Now, I'm not trying to sell you anything here. I am a PT and a coach as well, and I can help you get to your goals, but maybe you have a coach that's better suited for your goals as well, like if you were powerlifting. Basically, um, getting a coach or a PT was something that I kept putting off for a long time. I thought it wasn't really important. I don't really need it. I've got a program already. I've got this already. I can do it. But what happened when I did get a PT was that my form improved. I understood what I was doing and why I was doing it. I understood that some of the exercise selections were wrong and there were better options to be doing to be able to see results quicker. I learned that there was foods I should be eating. I think I've had three personal trainers before I ended up taking things into my own hand and was able to learn my own way before I started online coaching as well. It is so important for you to get a PT or a coach that knows what they're doing just to get ahead of the journey so much quicker. Like you would, I've lost a lot of time in trying to figure it out for myself through you know, internet forums and things. And sometimes they help, but sometimes they're bullshit because they're only people expressing their opinions. It's not all fact. And I'm so glad in social media, there's so much better information circulating now that helps people. But if you go on TikTok, like I did the other day, and you look up weight loss exercises, there's literally a lady doing crunches saying, you know, that's gonna target your fat loss on court. And, you know, maybe to you that sounds normal, but to me that's absolutely ridiculous now because I've learned the principles through my past PTs and experiences that that's that's impossible to spot reduce fat or only in your core from crunches, etc. So what I'm getting at is get yourself a PT or a coach. It doesn't matter if it's me or someone else, but you need to get and invest into someone because they're gonna teach you so much more than you will go out of your way to learn. And if you wanna see progress and you wanna get there quick, the only way you're gonna do that is by spending money into yourself and investing in a PT. I learned more than I ever have in the three months of having a PT than I did in three years of training and researching on my own. So if that isn't an indicator for yourself to get yourself a coach and see the progress that you're looking for, and I don't know what else is. Now I'm gonna add on a bonus tip for this one. Things I would do if I were a beginner, beginner again. Bonus tip number five would be to stay consistent. So a common thing, I was very on and off, first of all, in my gym journey starting out. I would go to the gym for a couple months. I would see the results I wanna see there. I would say, oh, I'm quite happy with this. I'm gonna leave it at that now. Um, I've already got what I want out of the gym, so no need to train anymore. And then in a couple of weeks time, you lose everything you just worked hard for. And then you go, why did, that, why did that happen? I just worked so hard to get there and I've lost it all. Main thing is to stay consistent and you're gonna hear this so often um, from now on and I'm honestly sick of hearing it, but it's the truth and it's the only truth. Staying consistent. Um, if you wanna maintain your results, you wanna keep progressing, you wanna get better, you wanna maintain this lean physique, you gotta to have to keep working. Um, it's like money, you can't go into your shift you know, three shifts in one week make say like a thousand dollars and then next week you don't work at all. Obviously you can't expect any more income because you're not working anymore. Same thing with your physique goals is if you stop working, you're not gonna see the results anymore. It's not like it just stays there forever after you went to the gym for three times. Make it a routine, make it a daily habit to seamlessly fit it into your life in the easiest way possible so you know that you will follow this on a day to day end. Um, that's all I can say is, um, so those are the tips. Those are the tips that I have for you now. Those are things I would do if I was a beginner again. Um, obviously, a couple of things to add on is ask for help as well. If you are new into the gym and you know a PT is a bit out of your budget right now, you can always ask your friends who are experienced in the gym that know what they're talking about, no gym bro science, for some help. Or you can even ask people around you like, hey, I'm doing this exercise in this form is this look right to you or is there a better way I could be doing it? You know, people are there to better themselves. They'd be more than happy to help you out if you ask the question. So don't be afraid to ask for help is another thing as well. Now, I hope you really enjoyed this video and took some sort of value from it. And um, like I said before, please like, share, um, comments, whatever you can. I would really appreciate it. And we'll leave the video there. And um, yeah, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day, wherever you're watching this from and I will catch you in the next video. See you.